Hello everybody and welcome back to Wizards Fantasy Kingdom with me, Wizard. And today we're going to get started on our first build. <clears throat> we are going to be doing our first gadget. And I'm hoping I have... Okay, I have a bucket. We're going to need a... I keep forgetting this. Okay. We are going to, since we got a bucket of water from that, we're going to throw that bucket out. Goodbye. But yeah. We're going to be starting on our, <clears throat> our first machine. And I think this is going to be a uh, perfect place for this machine. And yeah, so I'm going to start with one water wheel. And if the water wheel does not um, power this machine the way I want it to be powered, then we are going to go on to two machines. So first off, Let's get, well first I want to explain what the machine is going to be. We're going to take four strainers and we're going to use these strainers to uh, gather uh, sand, dirt, clay, gravel with some of these. So first off, let's get some room Let's sleep for one. Um, this is going to have to be moved. So we're going to move this out here for now. Doesn't matter where. Alright, we're going to need this. Okay, and probably, well. This is probably probably going to be good right there. All right, and you'll see these do this, okay? And the machine will bring stuff down. I think this is a good speed right here. <clears throat> okay, so now we have that. Now we want to get um. I'm going to go over here to make something real quick. Uh, that's not our door. But yeah, I'm going to have most of these machines hidden. I want to bring an infinite water source over here. And I can steal this bucket of water for the moment that'll stop that and we'll grab this and we'll put it back there okay alright now we have that done now we want the water strainers Hmm. I'm trying to figure how I want <clears throat> excuse me, how I want this machine built. Alright, let's get the rest of the stuff out for it. We got the strainers. Got the strainer bases, the drawers. Alright, wooden storage crate that can go in here. 
the wood can go in here uh, the water bucket we're gonna need that iron can go away all this stuff here can go away um, I want the clutch and cased van and the site funnels let's get the gearboxes out if we need them so alright now hmm I guess I can start putting that I get hoppers I don't have hoppers there's one thing I missed so we're gonna have to run to the house yeah excuse me this house here this one right here is going to be torn down in time. So, that is that. And it's easier to get to the house swimming. You know, I try to be as um, ready, as prepared for the next episode as I can. But I always, always forget something. And doesn't that usually go every time? Isn't that the way it usually goes? Every time you think you're prepared, you are unprepared. And you're forgetting at least one thing. <laughs> it, it seems like every video that I prepare for, I always forget at least one very important item. Let's see, what do you what do you have? Come here. I want to see what you have. Drip leaves. Yeah. You don't have anything. You have nothing that I need. So okay, iron. That's good. Oh, you know, I could have. I had iron. I had plenty of iron. Wow. I did not need to come back all this way. Some dirt. Let's throw. Let's throw the egg in there. Goose. I want geese. So, all right, now, my mind has been all over the place. This is the, you know, this is the first series I started uh, this year, basically, and my mind is all over the place, but that's okay. Um, doing three series right now. This one, um, a zoo series. Oh, I overshot. That's all right. I'm trying to take the least amount of fall damage as I can. Alright, now. Alright, let's get this going. I, th I'm, I suppose I can do this here. Two, three, no, I don't want that there. And four. No, I've got to move it. I've got to do something else. I've got to move this back. So I can have room for what I want to do. 
so I should I could have had this all prepared but I didn't so just bear with me okay now water wheel is gonna go here This will be fine. Water wheel. Water bucket. Food. We can put that away. We can put the iron away. Alright, we'll get this lock here. Alright, now. And we'll bring this shaft down to here. Hopefully the belt will stretch that far. Okay, that that is perfect. So I'm thinking we need just a little more space above here. Yeah, and this is the stuff that's on the belts now. That's basically what you're going to see. Stuff is going down those belts, and we'll put that there. Now, four hoppers, I think we can go here. Two, three, four. And now the stuff will spit out. <coughs> over here okay now on top of these you're gonna see these water strainers all right <clears throat> then behind there let's see do I have a chisel No, I don't have chisel. The mod chisel. But, that is okay. We can do this. Just like this. That's fine. Can bring these out. Um, I need to borrow this torch. We can put one here, one there. One there. And one there. Um, let's get more light back here. Alright, let's put one here. Let's just put one here. And we'll sleep again. We're just about there. So, the idea of this is Yeah, the idea of this is these water strainers are going to get their resources. Right? So, we'll put the water there. They'll come out Oh, I can just click the bases. Can I just click the bases? Oh, I can. That will be good. So, but first, we'll get water put in. Each one of them. Each one of these holes here. Then we'll put a block. 
Then we'll put the strainer base in. And I think that's already starting to gather stuff. I'll do this one and this one. <clears throat> then when stuff gathers, okay, they'll come down the conveyor belt like sand right here right <clears throat> is going to come down the conveyor belts and they there is one two three four five six seven there's seven things six seven there's seven different things that can be collected gravel and sand are the two two of the main ones right so sand can go in there gravel can go in there and then oh no no I think I have to shift I need some more sand I messed that up sand okay sand Sand will get collected there, gravel will get collected there, and then the next thing will get collected there, which should be sticks. Sticks will be collected there. Yep, sticks. Hmm. That's a good idea, but I think I want to have them facing. the other way and I can start right here so I need This can be an oak drawer here that has sand. All right, now if I put the andesite funnel on there, that should collect sand. Okay. If I put this one there, that should collect gravel. All right. If I put this one here, this should collect sticks. All right, one here. That should collect clay. All right, that sounds good. Uh, do I have any more torches? Not on me can borrow this one let's put some light back here to light that up okay and there'll be iron nuggets that we'll collect so there's seven all right there are seven one two three four five six seven yep And now if I do the funnels on these, that will collect everything that we want done. So that's our first machine. That's collecting these seven uh, resources. And then it leaves these open where I can come in and replace the meshes when I need them so okay is there a spot for iron yet and we'll put one right there we're not gonna get a lot of iron this way this way but this is a way that we can 
get some passive items and this will be going basically at all times getting gravel and stuff of that nature so now the next machine that I wanted to get set up can be on a shaft here okay encased fan clutch gearbox now I want to see how to do this all right, all right, all right, all right, I got it. I believe if I put a gearbox here, that will rotate this going this way. Although I have to switch two of these boxes. Okay, that one should be gravel. Okay, that should be gravel. And this one will be the gold nuggets. Alright, now. Now I have to do the encased fan. Um... right encased fan coming in this way all right so I need some cog wheels because I need to speed up this so if I do a big cog into a little cog big cog into a little cog gearbox vertical gearbox into vertical gearbox facing this way I gotta figure this out. Give me just a second here. Put a gearbox here. Then, uh, here's kind of a janky way to do it. They cannot go diagonal. Aw. Oh. I gotta, I'm gonna figure I will figure this out <clears throat> that is not wanting to change direction 
All right, let's see. No, that's the clutch. Gearbox. This way. Actually, I'm wondering, do I even need that? Because if I don't, I can go. That's going to pull. Perfect. there I want that to go in that's going in all right I'll figure something out that should pull gravel I need some trap doors. All right. Yeah, okay. We got that part figured out. All right. So I can come down here. These can get put up. First off, I need crafting table here. Alright, now let's get some trapdoors. I just need <clears throat> I only need three. Uh, and back into here. We're just going to do this. Cooking pot. I don't need cooking pot yet. We're just going to do this this way for the time being. Um, bucket of water. Hopefully you'll see in a moment here what I'm trying to do. So for the moment I can put a block here. I can put trap door, trap door. and trapdoor there then I can get out of the machine this way I can take this actually I'm going to do something a little different here do it that way so it can open up Alright, do that. <clears throat> then we'll put this here. We'll put that there. Alright. We don't even need that. Because <clears throat> Alright, get up here, and that goes to that, water goes there, and funnel goes there, and that pulls out the gravel. And the gravel will wash, I'm just hoping. Let's see. Uh, and it will wash. And okay, it does get put in there. And this will be another way that iron can get washed. Or we can get iron. Alright, it does go into that. Alright. So, now... Clay. I'm 
Okay, clay goes into that. And have we gotten any gold nuggets? We haven't gotten any gold nuggets yet. We've gotten some iron. This will be making flint. So we'll need flint for some, some different things. Pipe wrench, flint block, flint and steel. Arrows, of course. We can mix it with flint and lava at some point, or sand to get granite. Flint blocks. We can flint shoot cave finder. Oh, nice. Item collector, that'll be good. Um some different tools and stuff we'll need flint for so that will be good and we're getting we're getting iron we're getting some iron <clears throat> but we have an iron farm um, we'll put all the dirt in there we'll put all the iron in there so that way when things come down down through that last space can be saved for the gold nuggets so now let's see gravel okay I've got some gravel on me what I want to do with gravel is I can make concrete like great concrete powder there was something here that I was thinking of doing no that's not it there was a reason why I wanted concrete or uh, gravel flint liquid concrete well I don't know maybe it was just to um, let's make a small change here we'll put that as that and we can put that on there so that one will be for the gold have we got any no that'll go in here we can grab that up and yeah there is a chance to get um Okay, solid survivalist strainer. Reinforced. Yep. Eventually I want to get those. So we're going to have to make do at the moment with the solid ones. But yeah, this is pretty much our first machine. Uh, basically, it's to help us do that. When we do get some gold, I don't think I have any in my... Oh, I do. I can make gold nuggets. From that... I'm going to take that out and put those in there. And I'm going to put sand in there. Let's see. What did I want to do? I can wash that for clay. Um... Or I can blast it down for glass bulk washing. I 
I can put gravel in that. And I'm going to have to basically... Do I have a key? A drawer key. How do I make one of those? Drawer key. I need an upgrade template. Drawer key. I can make that. I have gold. Drawer key. Oh, I need... I need one nugget. Jesus! This dude scared the life out of me. He was a villager. I need a nugget. Now I can make this. So, okay, that's empty again, empty, so if I put gravel, put gravel in that, I can lock it, I can, I can lock all of these now. Okay, now there's going to be no mistakes being made of items going into wrong, wrong things. And for the moment, I can put that on there so we can wash sand and gravel because we're going to need a lot of clay. And I'll just show you some of the things that can be made from this. Oh, bobbers, flippers, whatever, coke bricks. We're going to need it for coke bricks. To make coal coke. Batteries. That's pretty cool. Concrete and stuff. Decorative stuff if we want to do it. A daub. Bricks. I believe clay is used for quite a bit of stuff. Statues, empty sack of holding, paralyzed potion, terracotta, crushing, clay, Obviously, or was it bricks that we needed a lot of? And blast bricks, planters, kilns, coke bricks. Yeah, we need it for some stuff that we want to play around with. We need it for quite a few things in um, immersive engineering. So we'll be collecting clay here and clay in here. What I'm gonna do real quick, just so we don't, um, well, I can always do with that. Don't we have iron chests? Apparently we don't. So, we're gonna need as much storage as we can get right here. So, this just be here to catch some stuff. We can catch some iron as we're going. And, yeah. And this will just work over time. We can come down here and see what we got. Look in the chest. You know, a couple iron nuggets. A couple iron ingots. A couple iron nuggets will have a couple. Yeah. English is hard. 
a couple more nuggets and we'll have at least two iron ingots worth of free iron. We can grab two from there. So this is a slow way. If you don't if you're not playing with the easy villagers mod, this can be a way to passively earn iron over time. Then when we have enough clay, we can just take this off the sand and yeah and just let it run so but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash this gravel off ah I'm just gonna do it this way then I'll put it into the system one way or another. Same with the sand. We'll just s split it up a little bit. And it'll go down the line <clears throat> and it'll get put in the drawers. So, then I can make upgrades to make these bigger and things like that. So, well, this is our first machine. I hope you liked watching me stumble through making this and things of that nature. Can we smelt the gravel itself? I don't believe we can smelt gravel. No, that's the crusher. You throw stuff onto the belts and it'll go. But yeah, we're passively collecting materials. So we're getting sticks, dirt, which is not going to be a bad thing because we're going to need dirt to remodel. And when we're done collecting sand and gravel, we can take these off and just let it build up but for now we can wash it down and yeah so alright guys I hope you're having fun with this series I'm gonna take all this stuff out for now that was probably not a good idea. And can I put stuff in? Now we've got a production line going again. All right, yeah, there we go. All right, so like I said, if you're having fun with this series and want to see more crazy contraptions like this, uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you're brand new, and do we need to sleep? We're getting to the point where we need to sleep. So yeah. Alright, I hope you guys are having fun, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.